All right, and we're back, guys. What an amazing episode. Just fantastic. Classic Star Wars. I mean, this whole season has captured the pure vibe of Star Wars like nothing else I've seen since the, the prequel trilogy, to be honest with you. Fantastic job. What an amazing episode. Oh, man, I'm, I'm just, I'm glowing. Just, just, it, it's reinvigorating the fan base. I mean, this has got to, I'm sure there are some things people are nitpicking, but screw that. Throw that out the, out the window. Let's just enjoy it for what it is, which is fantastic. True George Lucas story, Star Wars storytelling fantastic and there were a lot of things in this episode that that i want to touch on i'm going to only capture a few of them but there are a couple that i want to, i want to talk about from this episode um the first thing i want to talk about is the, is the world between worlds so we know she fell into somewhere or she was pulled into somewhere but was it truly the world between worlds like it looked like the world between worlds and it sort of functioned but was it truly? We don't know yet. So one thing that lets me know that it wasn't just a dream was that the kid was able to sense the saber clashing clashes. So that tells me right there that that was not a dream. This was legit. So she was, in my opinion, in the world between worlds, and she did encounter Anakin, which is just, oh, man, that that fills me with so much emotion to see these two characters in live action together. Like we we've, we've lived their their lives for years now in in the animated shows, but seeing this in live action takes it to a whole new level. Oh, I loved every moment of it. The walk through through the the history that got them to where they are now. So we went back through the Clone Wars. We started seeing Anakin training Ahsoka, a young Ahsoka, a little snips. That was fantastic. Um, just visually, it was stunning. We were seeing, we saw the clone troopers. It was just amazing. And I really enjoy seeing the dynamic between Anakin and Ahsoka, you know, him serv serving the role as the master, teaching his Padawan, you know, knowledge, exchanging that knowledge with his Padawan, which is just incredible. And it's so awesome to see Anakin as a master. He was, he was embodying that role for sure. And he was teaching her. And, and it was interesting to see the moment where she, felt like, you know, all I bring and bring to the table is death and destruction because, you know, the Clone Wars were just, like I said, the Clone Wars were no joke. And she was basically a child during it. So imagine how much PTSD she has around that. But she was a child who experienced some of the worst things that the, the galaxy had seen. And she was right there with her master, right, right there, his, his right hand. And it was just incredible to see those two interacting. And what was cool in this this episode is that seeing them walk back through the history, you know, on the battlefield with the clones, seeing the clones there, all of that stuff, seeing Anakin and doing his thing. And then when they got pulled back through the world between worlds, seeing the appearance of dark Anakin, that was intense. Man, his eyes, his face, his whole vibe changed to where we saw him back at the uh, Revenge of the Sith. That Anakin showed up here and he was not messing around. And she sensed that he was he was going through with so much power battling her. And it was so freaking cool to see her actually confronting that version of Anakin, you know, before he became Vader. So amazing to see it. It was it's actually kind of kind of touching just re-experiencing that whole thing. It's got to be traumatic for her. Got to be. Got to be traumatic to see her master like that. But she confronted him. And, you know, when he went in for the kill, she held her own, which was awesome. Showed him that, hey, I've, I've learned a lot over the years. I can hang with you now. Um, and then seeing him a moment going from the dark side to the light side because of Ahsoka, that right there, that moment is huge in this thing because not only does it redeem her, it redeems him as well. But then it makes you wonder if she was there, could she have, have prevented his fall? We'll never know. But I think she could have had a, a major hand in preventing it. She may not have been able to single-handedly do it, but she, her presence there would definitely have made Anakin pause, in my opinion. And he may not have ended up where he is now, or he, he it may have been inevitable. His, his transformation to Darth Vader may have just been his destiny. But I think in this scene, she was able to redeem herself by saving, quote unquote, saving Anakin here. And it was fantastic. I mean, his eyes went from that, that fiery Sith red back to the normal Anakin. She saved Anakin in that moment. And I think she's going to carry that forward with her. We've seen her transform. So in the 
first part of the series. She's in her, her basic garb, gray, probably the color of my shirt here. And then when she emerged from this world between worlds situation, she's now Ahsoka the White, which we saw way back in Rebels at the end of Rebels when she showed up and she was a different different type of Ahsoka. I think that's the birth of the character right here. So it's cool to see Dave tying all of this together and he's doing it so masterfully. Like he's going from the prequels to the rebels to clone wars. To, it, it's, and he's doing it perfectly in my opinion, just a fantastic job by Dave. Oh man. I, I can't wait to see where Ahsoka the white goes and the whale situation. What an ingenious way to get to the other galaxy. Oh man. I didn't think about that, but that, I should have, because that ties everything together. The whales are a huge presence in Star Wars. Great episode. Fantastic episode. So I guess in the next episode, we're going to end up where Ezra and Thrawn got thrown all those years ago. We saw them leave. We're going to find out where they eventually resurfaced, which should be interesting. Should be interesting. So I'm hoping in this new galaxy, we get to see like new, new species, like maybe new ships. Who knows? There's no telling what Thrawn has been doing. Now, he's a master planner, and I'm sure he's he's already got things in motion out there. I can't wait to see that. I'm sure we're going to see another confrontation between Balin and Ahsoka. Um, and then what's going on with Sabine? What is she doing? Like, is she going to redeem herself? This this is just fantastic. I'm going to watch this again, but make sure you stay tuned next week. We're going to do another reaction to this. I think what I'm going to do on the final episode, I'm going to do a live stream to watch it live, do a watch party. So make sure you tune in, turn your notifications on so you know when I'm going live. It's going to be lit. It's going to be lit, guys. All right, guys, take care. I'll see you next week. Big.